spacecraft on the moon. As Mark Stassen reports, the lunar lander named Odysseus is aiming for a landing site near the moon's south pole around 4.30 this afternoon. Ignition and liftoff. Odysseus began its odyssey one week ago. Separation confirmed. The six-legged spacecraft, 14 feet tall, is the first built and flown by intuitive machines in Houston. This is the assembly room. We met co-founder and CEO Steve Altimus last year as Odysseus was being prepared for launch. We're delivering scientific payloads, engineering demonstration payloads, but not the humans themselves. And liftoff. But space is unforgiving. Last month, the first moonbound lander built by a rival American company, Astrobotic, suffered a mission-ending failure of its propulsion system. Confident you'll stick this first landing? You know, of all the missions mounted to the moon, there's only been a 40% success rate. We believe we can do better than that. I put our odds at 75% uh, uh, success. For a successful touchdown, the lander's engine has to perform. From behind a blast wall, we watched intuitive machines conduct a test fire. <laughs> On descent, the main engine needs to fire for 10 straight minutes, then throttle down for a soft landing. Wow. Just land softly. That's the key. Bouncing doesn't help anyone. <laughs> if you bounce and you stay upright, that might be okay. <laughs> but if you bounce and topple... That's still good. <laughs> Ten miles to go. Nothing American-made has touched down on the moon since Apollo 17, more than a half century ago. Hey, Houston, the Challenger has landed. Five countries have landed spacecraft there, but never a company. When you look at the moon now, what do you see? I see a little glint of an intuitive machines lander that will be on the moon forever and ever, a billion years. It's a fantastic thought, and I can't look at the moon any differently now. And if they succeed, neither will we. Mark Strassman, CBS News, in Houston.